What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel X-Man & Co. Today we're going to make easy puff pastry. You're going to love it. Stay tuned. Pastry fact. Pastry is differentiated from bread by having a higher fat content, which contributes to a flaky and crumbly texture. A good pastry is light and airy and fatty, but hey, firm enough to support the weight of the filling. Guys, that's what we're going to do today. So, all you need is a few ingredients and we're on our way. Puff pastry is obviously light, buttery, flaky and is very, very versatile. It can be used in sweet and both savoury dishes. Today, we're going to apply this to a savoury dish. If you want to use this pastry in a sweet dish, you need to add some sugar to your mix. Firstly, you're going to add two cups of bread flour, then half a teaspoon of salt and then a third of a cup of cold water. You're going to mix all of these ingredients together. You don't want to handle the dough too much, so you just want to mix it to the right consistency. And then we need to move on to the next step. The whole idea here is that you make your dough, prepare it, get it in the fridge so it's very cold, so you can add your butter to it. You need to make sure at that stage that your dough is real cool otherwise your butter will melt and it won't form layers and you are actually after layers if you don't get layers you're just mixing the butter with the dough which in turn is going to be a huge problem because then it won't flake at all all you need to do now is add your dough ball to your glass bowl you then want to add your clear wrap over your bowl make sure it's properly tight you don't want your dough to dry out this is maybe one of your most important steps. We're going to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. The reason we're doing that, we want to cool down this dough before we add our butter. Once we add our butter, our butter is also going to be frozen. Once we add the two, we want to roll it into a few rolls and flap it over and roll it again. We don't want the butter and the dough to mix. We want it to form layers and that's how you get your puff pastry. So very important guys, make sure this is totally closed it's there's no air that can go in or out we don't want this dough to dry if it's a very hot day you could leave this dough in your fridge for a bit longer an hour or so we just want to cool it down so we can move on to the next step we'll see you in a bit it's been 30 minutes we've taken our dough out of the fridge and now it's time to roll the dough out and add our butter like I explained earlier, this is critical, we need to keep it cool, so if you're not ready with all your things to, to accomplish this, then you need to leave it in the fridge until you are ready. Make sure that wherever you're going to roll out your dough, it's properly covered with this flour. We're just going to roll this out. We don't want to work the dough too much. What I like to do is just remove the excess bread flour. You need a quarter of this slab of butter. You want to use real butter if you can. Because remember this is a fat dough recipe. So I'm just going to grate all of this butter. Try and get it evenly onto your dough that you've rolled out. It's a bit of a messy situation. The fattier the butter content is, the better your flaking will be. Make sure that it's even. From here on in, you want to make sure that you do not knead the dough. It's very straightforward. You are just rolling it and folding it. There's lots of ideas around this. Some say you have to do it only six times. Make sure that you don't mix it because it's all about the layers. So there you go. This is the end result. We folded it about eight times, I would guess. And this, nothing wrong with it. This is perfect. Into our bowl and then some clear wrapping. Same as before, make sure that it's properly sealed. So guys, this is ready for the fridge. Minimum 20 minutes in the fridge and then you can use it. So basically, it's an hour maximum for this whole recipe and you're good to go. It's never been so easy to do puff pastry. We're going to put it in the fridge and in 20 minutes time, we're going to take it out and we're most probably going to use it. You can leave it overnight, whatever works for you. As long as you take it out two, three minutes before you're going to actually use it. Remember, we use this cold and you're good to go. See you in a bit. It's been 20 minutes in the fridge. I've taken it out. It's ready to be rolled out. Now's the time to cut your pieces out, put it in your bowls 
add the filling and go make some delicious pies. You guys know, as always, if you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe, enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We can't do it without you. Comment below. Let's interact. See you in the next one. Cheers. Shh.